stories or nothing. There wasn't there hasn't been that many. I mean, people wrote a profile. Usually, you just see like a, a tree of like numbers. Then there was not a few visualization tools. Sir? No, no, but that, that's the framework for drawing the thing, right? So this is the, the, the actual visualization, like having a heat map is a kind of visualization. Yeah, yeah, so flame graph is a kind of visualization, not, not, a, not the framework to draw visualizations, if that makes sense. Like I could draw the same visualization in D3, for example, but I'm, in this case, the flame graph program outputs uh, by default SVG uh, uh, file. Okay, so that's the file. Yeah, yeah, the output of the flame graph program is an SVG file. So SVG you can interact with it, I think that's why we chose SVG. You can interact with it, like Control add you can, you can click on it. Again, but it's like, it's like a it's like a PNG kind of like a graphics file. Yeah. More questions. More questions? No. Is there a ah, yes. sort of real time version where you could buy I don't know like every second or something and update to SVG? And uh, not that I know of, but this is more like a static thing. Yeah, but you could definitely like have, have some kind of pipeline where you generate like one flame graph per second. So oh, it's yeah. existing. So. No, not that I know of. But you, you could write a simple pipeline, I would think. It's not too complicated. So you just need to chop up your files into whatever batch size, right? And then just pipe it into the, through whatever pipeline to fold the stacks and um, generate the SVGs. Yeah. I haven't heard of a, yeah, it'd be nice to have an animation. I think there was something, the idea of a differential frame graph, I think you, you were talking more like looking at the difference between two instances in time possibly, right? Not just to see the thing changing, but look at the difference. Uh, There's actually something called differential. When you're a software running, like it's loading stuff, and, you know, the thing only change. Yeah, but usually you want to collect like samples for a certain amount of time, so you have some statistics like, you know, how many seconds this is called. Right. If it's like real time, you may not have enough data to like draw the, the, the picture. Yes, well, yeah. it's going to depend on it. Like, uh, like if you do video games, for example, right. I do you want to capture one frame, that would be one frame. But if you're loading data, then you want to do what you say, which is capturing 10 to yeah. the, the target profiler this is used for is used more like the sampling profiler. So sampling profilers will take a snapshot of your, the stack at sort of intervals uh, as your program executes. So it just saves this snapshot as one line in the folded stacks format. That's like one snapshot. So these profiles will take sample multiple snapshots per second. And you build a large. Oh. Okay, I think I have a tiny little bit of time. Just to clear up one, com one confusion people have about the flame graph. There's also the question about how do you order the things left to right, actually. Right now, if I'm not wrong, I think it's alphabetically ordered. So the ordering left to right also has no particular meaning. It's alphabetically sorted from left to right. The, 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 child, the, the child notes. Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't have to do with how it actually works in the actual calls. It's just sorted from left to right. In it seems to me that the yeah. one thing you can't see on, in this mm -hmm. is if one of the leaves, let's say, you could click on it. has a substantial size, but you can't you can see click on. if it has substantial size because you know, like it, it's slow. One of the leaves. It would be very fat. Yeah. If, it, if it has a long time, it would be a very fat leaf, yeah, right? But the you width. Can't, yeah, yeah, but I mean, you can't see if it's fat because it's slow or it's fat because it's called a million times. Ah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Listen. Yeah. Good point. Okay, I think that's all the time I have. So thanks for all the questions.